Hi, welcome back to Cooking McGee style. Bobby's not here right now, he will be. Um, I'm gonna try to make homemade kolaches. I've done kolaches in the past. I will link a video if you want an easy way to do it. And I don't have my mixer here, so he's gonna be backing out. Okay, but let's see if I can make it happen. And I don't have my mixer. It's at the rent house. Hey, but my rolling pin's here, so cool. Let's see what I come up with. Okay, this is gonna be a process, but a friend of mine, a neighbor, was so willing to bring me some whole milk, cause you want whole milk. And I am, I don't understand why all these cups are like for left-handers. I'm not left-handed, okay. I need one cup, I got a little bit more than one cup, okay. Oh, yeah, that's good. I'm gonna warm this up in the microwave. You don't want your milk hot. You just want it warm. If it's hot, it will kill the yeast. Okay. Now we have warm milk. It is not hot. It's warm. Okay. We're gonna put our active dry yeast in there. One tablespoon. I'm gonna mix it up. See if it bubbles. There's some bubbling action in there. Grody, it's out oh, Memorial Day weekend and there's a lot of people here at home. And so he's like, what's that? Oh, it's a golf cart. Ah, gotta bark. Oh no, how are we? Are we activating? I can't tell. It looks like undone oatmeal. Oh. We're going to find out. Keep stirring this gently. To be honest, I am not sure if this is going to work at all. Yeah, let's go for it. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna let this sit over here and see if it does anything while I do the rest. So I'm running low on flour. I thought I had plenty of flour, but I opened one of the containers that had been here for a little while and it had uh, little kitty crawlers in it. So garbage. We're gonna try to make rice flour. I need another cup and a half. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work. Siri says it'll work. So, let's see if Siri is right. Well, put this in here and make a mess and grind it up. Ah, let's find out if this works. I have a feeling these are going to be some jacked up kolaches. Some jacked up kolaches, great. Let's see. <laughs> We're making rice flour, apparently. So that I got from grinding up rice. All right, let's be positive, okay? Let's just be like, you know, these might be the best kolaches ever. And I discovered a whole new recipe. Or, um, it's okay, we have pizza. It's a darn good thing. The recipe I'm following only needs one tablespoon of sugar because that's about all I got. I say, <laughs> flop. Got a tablespoon of sugar. We need really to stop barking. I need to get some salt. Add that to it. Two tablespoons of salt. I really wish I had my stand. I'm sorry, guys. I might not even publish this. Let's see. It's not an awful lot of salt. Two tablespoons, am I right? Mm -mm, it's 10. Okay. Mm -mm. Go with a little light on salt. That's a lot. Salt. So now I have all the dry ingredients here and we're going to mix that up. Mixy, mixy, mix. 
And now we're going to do some fun stuff. We're going to start adding the wet stuff. Here's the moment of truth. This is the milk with the yeast activator. We're going to see if my yeast was activated or not. <laughs> Let me mix this up. Hold on. I need two hands for that. Now we're going to add two eggs. That in. I'm gonna use my hands. Spoon didn't work. Whisk didn't work. Hands. I'm going to. I just washed my hands again. At about four tablespoons of butter. A little bit more than four. Maybe four and a quarter ish. And mix some more. Dogs are going crazy. Holiday weekend. I'm going to add. Water. This is uh, about three tablespoons of water. That's what a real shot glass should look like. But then I got some oil in this regular shot glass. Uh, one, about one and a half tablespoons of oil. Get my hands dirty some more. Let's mix this up. I'm gonna. This was in, I found this in the freezer. I think I might drink that. This little thing. Why not? And we'll do this again when I have the proper equipment. And hopefully, this might work out perfect. I have no idea. I'm about to put my hands all in there and mix that up. Because then it needs to be kneaded. Yeah, kneaded. Like, it needs me. Like, my beer right there. It's like, I need you. Drink me. Yeah, yeah, needed. Um, kind of looks like mashed potatoes. Oh, we'll see what happens. Uh, need this some more, and hopefully get a dough that pushes back up because it is not at all. Okay, hold on, let me play with it. Dogs won't stop barking. I am so sorry. Okay, are we coming back up? We're thinking about it. Okay. Really? <sighs> hmm. I'm doing this again with actual ingredients that I need and not rice. I'm going to end up with some... I don't know what I'm going to end up with. Let's find out. I'm already committed. I'm going to put this in a ball. Put it in this grease pan and uh, let it rise for 45 minutes or so. And uh, I'm going to drink that shit because you know what? I need it. I'm ready for it. Let's go. Oh. I'm going to cover this with a damp um, dish towel, by the way. I just covered this up with a damp dish towel. It's about that hot. It's five o'clock. Just let it sit there for about 45 minutes, undisturbed, hopefully, and see if it rises. I don't know. I thought a lot of sausage out. I say I always make breakfast sandwiches, right? Ah, no, nah, don't worry. This is gonna work. It's going to. It's got to. Ugh. Everybody's having a great time. Why can't I? Cheers. Since I'm feeling so optimistic that this is gonna work, I'm gonna make some uh, strawberry filling. Hold on, I'm sorry, I wasn't prepared. They're over here. They were pre-frozen. Cleaned and frozen, whatever. Strawberries. And then I have a little spoony. Here's the deal. I don't have any more sugar. But I have powdered sugar. And I have baking powder. And I have stevia. And sweet love. And vanilla extract. I'll, I'll make this yummy. 
Oh, I was pouring this powdered sugar on. I have it on like a two right now. And I thought, oh, it would be so good. Some um, cinnamon. I gotta see if I have any cinnamon. Mm -hmm. uh, I like a, well, I don't think I actually afforded that, but I did a, a, a breakfast thing with cinnamon and all that. And uh, it turns out cinnamon and paprika look the same, but no, cinnamon and cumin look the same and feel the same. And it's like, oh, oops. That was cumin, not cinnamon. And that's cumin. Hey, do I have cinnamon? Hold on, wait, let me look. And I do, I do have cinnamon. Look, it's cinnamon, it's not cumin. Yay, let's put some of that on there. I think that would be yummy. Sorry, it's really hard to do with one hand. I need to bring my stand back with me. All right, that's enough cinnamon. And just because I don't want to eat this twice, I'm gonna uh, grab some mixed berries I also had in the freezer. Hold on. That's called Berry Melody. It's got strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries. It's, yeah, the dog. And they've got juice. Oh my goodness, a lot of juice. Now I'm gonna have to cook that to get the juice out. Uh, all right, turn the heat up. Hold on. No, I, if I knew and I had done, if I had known I was gonna do that, I would have gotten a better pan. Cause, yeah. Okay, it'll be okay. I have it on a fork, which is a little less than a medium on a ghetto electric stove. See what it does, and. I don't want to put more sugar in there. You know, with sugars and fruit as it is, it, I'm not going to put more sugar in there. Nope. Um, maybe some stevia or sweet and low. Obviously some baking powder. Maybe some vanilla extract. And I think there's plenty of cinnamon. I don't know. I'm going to taste it. We'll find out. All right, now I'm just kind of trying to boil all that water out. There was a lot of water. And then I add vanilla abstract, um, just a capful. And I need to add some baking powder to this. Get thicken up. By the way, I'm sorry about how bad I look today. Um, if I would have taken the time to uh, drop the baking soda on the floor, <laughs> um, if I would have taken the time to fix myself up and look decent, then I wouldn't have a problem with, you know, big strong guys, including my husband, move me around on a boat and in the water and stuff that I did not feel like getting dressed up today. Just didn't feel like it. I wanted to cook. All right, so now I'm burning, uh, yeah, burning fruit, so baking powder, this baking powder, right? Yeah, baking powder, and um, throw it down a little bit, and uh, we're trying to make it like a jelly-ish thing out of this. That's, that's the plan, yeah. No cootie. Okay, out of the baking powder. It's definitely reacting. I'm gonna mix that in better. See what that does other than make bubbles. It's like a science fair project. You know, your drains, that kind of thing. Oh, volcanoes. I don't know. Still on a five. Gotta get all this moisture out and make these. This needs to be like preserves, not fruit sitting in a pan. So, stir, 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 stir. Oh, no. It won't burn it. Smells really good. I don't like the big chunks, but I can always throw it through the ninja processor thing. Or just turn it off and let it set and see what it does. 
I think I'm gonna turn it off. Okay, since some of this meat was already smoked and cooked, like that right there, which is, what is that? Oh, that's boo down. Cool. <laughs> this is the sausage I want. It's raw. So I gotta, I gotta cook it. I'm gonna bake it in the oven. So I gotta set on 400. I'm gonna throw it in there and flip it until it's done. Dogs are still barking and I'm still being optimistic, optimistic that my bread's gonna work. But I don't have any jalapenos. I have this serrano peppers. I'm gonna drain them and um, slice up some cheese. Get ready to make some jalapeno and cheese kolaches. Yum. It's been a little more than 45 minutes and we have not doubled in size and we are not bouncing back up. What the F? Okay, we're gonna have some, it's gonna be like biscuits and stuff. It's not gonna be like kolaches, not this time. Maybe next time. <clears throat> Let's keep going. Let's we'll see what we come up with. So these um, jalapeno and cheese sausages um, were not made by us. They were made by a food processor or meat processor, whatever you want to call them. After Bobby shot a dough because um, he had to work and we didn't have time. They're okay. They're, they're decent. Um, ours are still cooking. So. Yeah, we're gonna find out if this works. I rolled this out right now. Could you point her out? Yes, um, and Kristen Bouchard. And why shouldn't we take happens. her word over yours? Okay. Oh. I need to mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. cut that. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. the round on peppers. They're spicy. Uh, I have four going. I'm gonna cook these Ooh, and see how they come out before I That's for me to know and for you to find I out. have doubts so about my dough. Yes, I'm doubting yes, my dough. Yes, and I control the sun and the You moon. probably can't hear me over the TV, but to that's fine. That I, I forgot to um, you get in? brush uh, my things, uh, so I'm gonna do that. I know they're not by myself. Too bad. There we go. I'm going to turn these. Oh, sorry. I should have already done this, but I didn't. They're almost done. I think they look good. We're going to find out in a minute. I lost track of time, but I'm pretty sure these are done. So... I'm gonna pull them out. I can be. I can tell you in a minute um, how long they're there based on my my videos. Yummy, yeah. yeah, and I really don't care if the cheese falls off the edges. I am cool with that. I'd rather have that than no cheese at all. First round. Pretty darn good. Bobby likes them. He approves. Now we're gonna try it with the jelly. So I have this uh, bread stuff put out. Yeah. Oh, I need this. Oh, I need this. Circles. I'm out of flour, so fingers is all I get. Just gonna show you one, and then I'm gonna do the rest. This is a mixture of cream cheese, butter, and uh, I don't even know anymore. Uh, cream cheese, butter, and 
Your mother's still at work. She and I can't remember. See? Yeah. Cream cheese, and butter, and. What was in there, baby? Cream cheese, butter, and. An egg. Yeah. This is the sugary berry mixture I made. It's gonna go right on. Oh, that's actually quite a lot. Okay. That's about how I'm gonna do these. We're gonna put them in the oven, 350. The last ones I put at 400 and um, Nicolacci's. I, I turned it down to 350. I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable with 350. So that's what I go with. Oh, and I'm going to A wash this too. Yeah. This time I'm going to remember to egg wash. Oh, hello. That's a lot of egg. So I'm going to pop these in the oven at 350 and that way I might end up an omelet with, I don't even know, fruit in it. Who knows? They're in there. It is 819 at 350. I'm gonna, these are at 350 or actually I turned it back up to 400 but I'm going to turn them. A little bit longer, not much. Now I'm gonna do some of our homemade sausage with cheese and like I said, we're out of jalapenos so we're using habanero peppers. So yeah, watch it, watch out. All right, there's our regular sausage, well, our jalapeno and cheese sausage that we actually made ourselves. Uh -oh. Wrapped in. The accusers on the Dough. It's too thick. But hey. Probably like the last ones. Let's see. Oh, and I ate washed these. Well, these I overcooked just a little bit. And I want to burn myself and show you. Hey, yeah, a little bit. But my husband still says they're good. Of course, he says everything's good because he doesn't want to hurt my feelings. But and I'm no sugar. Which I knew, and uh, we don't have any stevia. Sweet and low did not do the trick, but they'll eat eaten. And once he put powdered sugar on top, it tasted better. So, you know, okay. So these last three are the sausage that we cooked. Can't wait for Bobby to try that. And in the oven, I just put in. Some boudin sausage. Yeah, and let this cook. Hopefully not burn like a, the other. Oh, okay. okay, so everything I've done so far has not been a complete success. But step towards the future. I'm getting where I want to be. Can't wait for Bobby to try that. He's going to love that. Boudin. There's boudin in there. Yeah. With serrano peppers. And cheese.